Now in your workshop this week, you're going to be looking at the differences between various pedagogies. In particular, the difference between direct instruction, activity-based pedagogies and project-based learning approaches or pedagogies. So to give you an example of activity-based or project, or activity-based or direct instruction, um, you're going to work through an hour of code online tutorial. Two purposes, one is going to teach you about block-based programming. And the second is it's going to demonstrate to you a teacher-centric direct instruction model um, where the teacher in this case is actually the computer. And it takes you through, and you don't have a lot of creativity or choices involved, but you'd have to work through what the teacher, the computer in this case, um, wants you to actually do. So explore the hour of code activity, complete the various activities. It won't take you a full hour. That's designed for very young children to take that amount of time. And at the end, it'll you'll receive a little certificate or you'll have a, a screenshot of your completed final activity that you can then submit as evidence for your log of learning. Now then in the online workshop, having done that hour of code before you come to the workshop, it has to be done beforehand. You will then be comparing project-based learning through the activity in the workshop. So in your workshop, you're going to come up with your own solution to a project. Now, the on-campus students are using um, what we call Makey Makeys, which are little interface boards that allow them to connect real-world events to their computer. And using the Scratch programming language, have something happen digitally based upon real world events. So in their case, they're going to be building an operation game and using their tweezers, if they touch the sides, it's going to send a signal to their computer. And in, then in the scratch programming language, it'll have a buzzer go off or um, reduce their score or change a picture or something like that. Now, unfortunately, you don't have the Makey Maker kits, but you can simulate the basic process. Now, what you're going to be doing is creating your own um, activity in Scratch on the assumption that the signals are coming from outside. Now, those signals will be replicated by keystrokes. So A, B, C, D, whatever key um, is being pressed on your keyboard represents something happening in the world. Now, I've given you a link and some video clips to have a look at different examples of this. And there are many different ways of exploring how this could occur. It could be a big piano where you step on the various keys and they send signals to the computer. And then in Scratch, you program it to play different musical notes depending upon which key has been stood on. Lots of other opportunities though to explore different um, problem solving opportunities. But the basic idea in Scratch is that when a key is pressed, something happens. And you'll find um, the block-based code for when space key pressed. And you can change space key or space to any other key. Then something happens in terms of the block that's placed underneath that. So an example I've given here, play sound meow until done is placed under that. So when the A key is pressed, it plays a meow sound. That's the basic um, concept around what you're going to be building out in terms of your solution to a problem. But you need to think of a project, some sort of solution that will utilize those skills to be able to do something. So not necessarily the operation game, but think of something else. And I've given you again a whole range of different examples that you can explore. And you can discuss that with your tutor and with your peers and do that during the workshop. Now, once you've done that, what you'll do in the workshop is to discuss the differences between that project-based approach to coming up with an activity and a solution, what you learnt from doing that, comparing that with a direct instruction activity-based approach that we saw in the Hour of Code tutorials. So that's what you'll then discuss in your workshop.